Detective Norman. Can I join you? Sorry for the delay, but I didn't want anybody seeing me, if you know what I mean. What can I get you, sir? Just a coffee. Coming right up. It's not my habit to sit with people like you. Got a business proposition for you, Detective. I ain't no businessman. And even if I were, I wouldn't be doing business with the likes of you. I don't usually do business with your kind either. But this is a bit of a strange deal. Good for you and your superiors, and good for me. It concerns a certain kind of trade. Trade? Well, let's just say that I hold a high position in a not-so-legal organization. It's just the kind of organization people such as yourself would like to know a lot about. And I, on the other hand, for certain reasons, don't want... Your coffee, sir. Thanks. I have my own personal reasons why I don't want to be associated with this organization. It ain't too easy to leave this kind of business, if you know what I mean. I think I know where you're coming from. You'll get a bullet in your head if you don't disappear quickly, right? That's not the only reason. Got any kids, Detective? I've got a wife and daughter. I don't want them to have any problems because of me. Yeah, well, I ain't just gonna hand out protection to any warp crook. You should have thought about them kids before, cause I... Sure, sure. Listen, I don't want something for nothing. So here's the deal. Does the name Salieri mean anything to you? Salieri? It damn well does! You got something to come with him? You could say that. I've worked for him for several years. Now he wants to rub me out. If you protect my family and me, I'll tell you everything. Names, dates, accounts, everything. Enough to put him away for life. I ain't Santa Claus. If I go to the Chief with this, I need to know everything you know. And I have to be sure you'll testify in court. Sure. If you ain't in a hurry, I'll tell you my whole story. And all the deals I've worked on over the years. Okay. I've got time, and I'm listening. I used to be a taxi driver. Even though I wasn't making much and I worked from dawn to dusk, I was glad to be working. It was a bad time and some other people were worse off than me. It was that very taxi that drew Salieri's people to me in the first place. One day I was on my break and I was just hanging out. Suddenly I heard a tremendous crash. Sam! They got me! Damn it! Climb up and move. There's a taxi. We'll be okay. It was clear to me that these guys had to get out of there fast, so I thought it was best to cooperate, rather than ending up with a hole in my head. Move it. Come on. Where to? Anywhere! Fast! I hope you're damn fast! Faster than Sam here was! I burned rubber out of there like a bat out of hell. It didn't matter where, just away from those gentlemen who were chasing my new customers. Now listen carefully. We gotta shake these clowns behind us. If you don't do it, then we're done for. That includes you. Step on it, kid. Move it! Step on it or we're done for! Idiot, go! Faster! Shit! We'll never lose him this way! Kill him, Sam! I'll shoot you to pieces! Fast! 
Master Christ! Great! <laughs> we made it! Good work, brother. Now take us to Sayeri's bar. I'll show you the way. Driving around in circles. Finally, we're home. Wait here, friend. Sam will get you a little something from Mr. Salieri. Thanks for your help. Mr. Salieri would like to thank you as well as myself and Pauly. It's compensation for the damage to your car and your services. It should be enough. Yes, uh, of course. Thanks. Uh, give my regards to Mr. Salieri. Mr. Salieri wants you to know that he is very grateful to you. If you ever need anything, you can come back and ask for help. Because Mr. Salieri doesn't forget about friends who have helped him out. If you're interested, maybe we could find a job for you here. And it would pay well. We always have positions for guys as good as you. Okay, okay. I'll think about it. 
Thanks. Uh, really, thanks. I'd, I'd better go uh, to fix the car and so on. All right. I understand. Just think about it. And I hope it's clear that this matter is only between ourselves. You take care, kid. When I opened the envelope, I almost had a heart attack. There was more than it would cost to do the repairs. But I didn't for a minute think about their offer. I didn't want to join some criminals, even if they had all the money in the world. It's better to be poor and alive than rich and dead, right? I was going to get my cab repaired and try to forget it all as soon as possible. As my mother always said, you can never predict what God has in store for you. Hey, could you take me to the church downtown, please? Okay, okay. Drop me off here at the steps. Thanks. Here's the fare. Who are you taking? I need to go to the hospital, and you are. No problem. like that. Don't worry, I know how to drive. Thanks. Here's the fare. Who are you taking? I need to go to the hospital. You are. No problem. to get scared here. Really scared, are you?
Drop me off in front of the entrance. Thanks. Here's the fare. I'm lucky you're here. I need to get to the theater on Central Island. Take the Giuliano Bridge so that we can get there quickly. Whatever you want. the money. Goodbye. Good day. Could you take me to Hoboken, the Pompeii bar? Sure thing. Get in.
I'm supposed to walk from here? Pull into the entrance, please. Oh, my God! There you go. Keep the change. I need to get to the department store car lot in Little Italy. Can you take me there? No problem. Get in. Go across the Giuliano Bridge and then through the tunnel. It's the shortest way. said over the Giuliano Bridge. Don't you know which one that is? Don't you think you're driving too fast? Do what I can to get you there. Shouldn't you slow down a little? No problem. We're doing fine. This should cover it. Keep the change. I need a coffee break. I had a cup of coffee and relaxed in the car. While I was waiting to see if I could get another customer, I noticed I wasn't far from Salieri's bar. Jesus. We got you, you little rat. Mr. Morello's pretty angry with you. We're gonna have to teach you a little lesson so you remember that it ain't right. 
<laughs> Those bastards remembered the license plate of my car and took it on themselves to hunt me down. Lou here will fix your face a little. Finish him off. Don't waste any more time on him. It was clear to me that I had to get out of there fast. I couldn't handle that animal on my own. I said to myself that now was probably the right moment for Mr. Salieri to show his gratitude. Salieri's bar was just down the street, and the sight of it was certainly a lot nicer than a baseball bat to my head. Salieri's boys saved my skin that time, but I certainly wasn't in a good situation. I had paid off my debts for the car repairs, but my boss didn't want to employ anyone who's in the mob. It just wasn't good business. When I saw the fancy getup of Salieri's boys, I thought that it can't be too bad to work for them. Besides, I had nothing to lose. Morello was out to get me, so driving a cab wasn't the best job. Plus, the prospect of Salieri's dough wasn't so terrible. So like I always say, better to die young and loaded. Well, it looks like Morello is really trying to make me mad. But I'm a reasonable person. What do they call you, son? Thomas Angelo. I've decided to give you a shot, Tommy. I like new faces. We're one big family here. Do you already know Paulie and Sam? Frank here is my right hand and looks after the legal side of our business. The one behind the bar is Luigi. This business ain't easy to swallow, but Luigi's a wonderful cook. Paul will introduce you to Vincenzo and Ralph. There are a lot of us, but those should be enough for now. Now listen, and listen good. We have some rules around here. Don't cross paths with the cops. They're on our payroll, so they'll leave you alone. But if you go too far, they'll all come after you. Money or no money. If they ever pick you up, say nothing, and I will take care of you. I show my gratitude to those people that helped me, and there aren't many left to betray me. Capiche? Yes, Mr. Salieri. I'm glad. Today I'll give you a chance to get back at those bastards who wrecked your taxi. We'll see what you're made of. Morello has a bar where all his gorillas go. They all have their cars parked behind the fence next to the bar. If you're good, they won't be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> 
Paulie will go with you just in case. Go see Vincenzo for equipment and Ralph for some wheels. I wouldn't trust him so much. He seemed hesitant. He's just accepting now because he has no choice. We'll see, Frank. We'll see. I'm more concerned about what Morello's problem is. Does he really want to start a war? Vincenzo is a Don's gun expert. They've known each other since they were kids. Ralph, I'll introduce you to, is a complete idiot, but he's got a special way with cars. I don't get how such a moron could know anything about anything. But that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs>
So we're back, boss. Wonderful. Take a seat. It all went well. Sure, boss. He's a natural. Before they could say Ganolis, they were wheelers. And before they could recover, we were gone. Morello's probably pretty pissed right now. Really? I'm glad to hear it. He's one tough customer. In that case, welcome to the family, Tommy. You've passed the first it's test. It's an honor, sir. And now, we've got a new member. I'd like to take him into the outfit, boss. You can see he ain't scared. And he's done real good. You didn't disappoint me, Tommy. Now, let's drink. Thanks.